This video is brought to you by Paperlike. We are skipping the intro today. Welcome to the showcase of my top five favorite apps for iPad Pro and iPad. I'm gonna go through them here with you. These are apps that I find useful and or fun. And of course, before we continue here, leave a like, comment if you have any questions, suggestions, or opinions, and of course, click the bell icon if you are a recurring viewer. So the first app on this list is called MyScript Nebo or Nebo. I don't know how to pronounce it, so don't crucify me. Anyway, it is a note-taking app here so I can open up a new page that I've created so we can handwrite. So like, hello, my name is Noah. Hopefully that is legible. I am somebody who writes in cursive. What's special about this app though is not only does it look super clean, but it involves like a new way of interacting with text. For example, if I want to erase, I don't necessarily have to double tap the pencil or select the eraser tool. Instead, I can actually scribble away unwanted handwriting here, just like you kind of would with like pen and paper, except with pen and paper, the handwriting doesn't go away. It just stays there like an ugly blob. But with this, you can actually get rid of, once again, unwanted handwriting by simply crossing it or scribbling it out. Another feature is the ability to align text or join it. So for example, I can make um, this my here go to a lower line by simply drawing a line down. And as you can see, it's under it now. I could also bring it back up by drawing up and that's pretty cool. I can also join segments of handwriting together. So I can literally write join, for example, like J-O and then I-N over here. If I want the I-N to be joined with the J-O, all I have to do is draw a line up on the last letter of the first segment, and there we go, it's joined together. And of course, I can cross this out if I don't want it. You can also double tap things to turn it into text. So there we go, my hello my is now text. I can also double tap it again so I can edit it. So I can actually go in here like a text box and you know type what I want as well so that's pretty cool and yeah I really enjoy just the different features with this app there are more that you can discover if you actually download it I believe it's a subscription I believe the pricing and a link of course in the video description but yeah I really enjoy this and I might implement it into my school or handwriting or note-taking workflow the second app on my list is called DPM. This is more of a fun app for me, but it could be a great tool for a musician or a music professional. Basically, it's like a launch pad app where you get access to a bunch of these different boards or beat makers with a bunch of different genres like hip hop, trap, EDM. So I could choose like a festival EDM, for example. So I'll choose that, let's just say, and it'll download it right here. And I'm gonna turn this sideways because this is better for the frame, you know, like what I'm shooting right now. But anyway, you can interact with the different sounds here. So I'll turn the volume up here so we can hear what we're doing. There's an A and a B side, so you get multiple different beats and sounds and whatever. So you get like your kicks and your snares and whatever. So like, so I can like do something maybe like, and then, you know, you got different sounds like EDM stuff. You're like, I don't know, I'm not, <laughs> I don't wanna pretend like I know what I'm doing, but you know. So like I'm making music, I don't know exactly what I'm doing, but it's definitely fun. And if you have some downtime, you might enjoy this. And if you are some sort of music producer, this might be a better alternative to buying, you know, an actual launch pad or something. You might save money or it might let you see if you'd use a tool like this. I don't know. Once again, I think it's very well put together, fun and also useful depending on, you know, what your workflow or your profession is. The third app that I want to showcase is another Apple Pencil oriented one. It's called Flow. I really enjoy it. It's not necessarily for note taking. It's for illustration and I don't know, artsy stuff, I guess. You get a plethora of tools and the ability to manipulate said tools. You know, you can choose the thickness. You can choose how dark you want, for example, your black to be. So I can, you know, use a pen here and I can have granite gray, sonic silver, snow, pod white, and I can go all the way to like what monolith which is basically pure black i think so i can draw something right here oh this is actually a pencil but as you can see here it's sort of similar to the notes app probably even better of course pressure sensitivity is involved and you get an eraser tool as well you can also press undo you can use a pen here so i can hand write my name look at the little detail here it sort of like bleeds into the digital paper that's super cool uh, we get a chiseled marker so if you want to do like calligraphy you could do that as well so you know like oh, this is not a great example but you know you can sort of do that. You can just have a fun time with this sort of chisel tip here. Of course, you can press undo. There's also a pen tool that you can use, so that's nice. There's also an X-Acto tool which allows you to resize and rotate and scale your handwriting where you want, so I can drag this over here and place it. And yeah, if this app suits your needs for whatever you'd be doing with it, I highly recommend it. It's super clean and awesome to interact with. But before we continue with the fourth app here, I wanna to mention today's video sponsor, Paperlike, surprise, surprise, this is an iPad Pro video. And uh, yes, 
This is a product that really does enhance your Apple Pencil experience here. As I've showcased apps that really do make use of it here, uh, it does make your note taking, drawing, and handwriting experience just so much more intuitive and natural. I was somebody, once again, if you've heard this spiel before, I was somebody who used a notebook, like composition notebooks for years to handwrite notes and to draw and to doodle. And to have that experience here with the convenience of having all of your digital notes consolidated, for example, here I've talked about in the past, I use Good Notes. This was actually an app that I showcased in my 2019 iPad Pro Top Apps video. Um, having everything here and having the feel of paper is just really great. So I highly recommend picking one of these up. I'll leave a link in the video description down below if you are interested. Moving on to app number four. This is not something I necessarily use myself because I have the full desktop version, but if you are an iPad Pro user, um, be excited because Photoshop for iPad is getting better. It's not quite the whole experience, I don't think, but it brings a lot of what is great about you know desktop Mac or Windows Photoshop to your iPad Pro. So we can make a new document or a new composition here, seven by five inches. And uh, here it is right here. We have the same sort of menu items or tools that you would see with the actual desktop app. So I've imported this photo of my cat here from my photo library and I'll click done just to have it placed here. And of course I press the photos button here and then tap photos, which brought me to my camera roll. So I can zoom in here. What can I do? And I think I'm gonna try to isolate this box in my cat from the hardwood floor here. I don't think this is a great background. So I'll put her on like some sort of colored background or something so I can use the lasso tool here and use the Apple Pencil to do so. This is not gonna be a perfect trace, but having the fine input with the Apple Pencil makes this a much easier task than if you were using a mouse. So this is something I would kind of like myself, even though I am accustomed to using a cursor and a mouse with real you know, desktop full-fledged Photoshop here. And it's sort of like aligns to corners and edges as well, so I can copy this or mask this out. So there we go. Not a perfect masking out job, but good enough for me. How about I make another layer here? I'll make another layer and put that under here. I think I can create like a solid, so like a solid color maybe. So now I have a pink background behind her, which I think is fitting because she is a girl cat. And there you go. That's a quick Photoshop edit here. Very easy, very reminiscent of the actual Photoshop or full-fledged Photoshop. Is it perfect? No, but it has gotten a lot better. And if you are a creative professional and you need to make some sort of quick edit, this will definitely suffice. And finally, our fifth app on this list is something I've been using since, oh God, 2015. It is called Notability. I'm sure a lot of you have used this or know about it, but if you don't, it is a fantastic note-taking and annotation app. I recently did a video where I showcased how I like plan out my apartment and I just dropped in the floor plan is where I started annotating and drawing here. You get all of the you know regular tools, the ability to manipulate what you've annotated or written here like I'm doing right now. You can erase, you can highlight, and yeah, it's just my go-to app for you know like signing contracts, signing documents, and of course, note-taking as well. You have a great feature here where you can you know tap this little uh, magnifying glass so you can actually, if you didn't have an Apple Pencil, and I did this for years in high school, you can actually handwrite with your finger, although I have the pencil connected, it's not gonna work, but here you go, you can handwrite as big as you want and then have it show up smaller here, which is very nice, so you don't have to like write really small and like in line, if you know what I mean. And yeah, this is just a fundamental app you should get if you have an iPad Pro and an Apple Pencil, and you plan on once again doing any sort of handwriting or annotation. I've used it for years and I can stand behind it still even in 2020. So that about wraps things up here, you know, I hope this video was helpful if you just got an iPad Pro for your college or your workflow, especially if you're staying inside, which we all are, which is just such a fun thing. I'll leave a link to all the apps in the video description. Once again, check out Paperlike. I highly recommend you consider one of these screen protectors if you have an iPad Pro or an iPad. And as always, guys, I'm Noah, and I will catch you all in the next one.